Hi, I'm Ben and I'm here with Team Allen at the Allen headquarters and I'm just going to show you a bit about the rigging and the tuning of a fever. So a bit before you hoist up your mast, you want to make sure that your blocks and your halyards, especially for your jib, is a, well, isn't wearing away or isn't about to break because that wouldn't be very good when you're sailing. You also want to make sure that your shrouds are either side of your jib halyard so it's even tensioned when you hoist up your mast. And finally, you also want to do, make sure that your spinnaker halyard is straight and not wrapped around the mast. And just before you put your mast up, you want to make sure that you put your Allen aero vane up on the top of the mast, just so you get that clean idea of where the wind's coming from. So we're now just going to put the mast up and make sure everything's straight. So once you're masked up, you want to make sure you've untangled all of the ropes and you want to then put your shrouds in the Allen Vernier adjuster. So today it's quite light, so I'm going to be going on my light wind settings, which is two shown from the bottom. However, please do not go off this as every fever is different and each shroud length is different. I also like to tape around my shrouds just to make sure that nothing comes undone when you're sailing, especially on your leeward side. So moving on from the shrouds, we're gonna now look at the spinnaker. So firstly, you wanna make sure that all of your spinnaker halyard is all free and in front of the shrouds and everything so nothing gets caught when you hoist the kite. So first of all, what you want to do is you want to find each part of your spinnaker. So this is the tack and the tack is supposed to go at the front on the spinnaker pole. You want to make sure you get this right because it's really easy to hoist the kite upside down. So what I like to do is just a simple bowling and that just keeps it there and it's very unlikely that it will untie. Now I'm going to attach the head to the, row, the halyard that goes up the mast. So for this I do the exact same as I do for the tack on the pole, is I just tie a simple bowling. Um, so now you want to go on to the retrieval line. You want to make sure that it's in front of this bar right here. And so you, what you do is you just place it through the first eyelet, which is at the bottom of the spinnaker. And then you just pull it all the way up to this little cross here. And all you do again, once again, is just tie a simple bowling. So at this point I suggest that you hoist the spinnaker and this just allows it to make sure that it's all untangled and soon after we've done after we've done that you want to then attach the spinnaker sheets. The spinnaker's up, this is the time where I personally do attach the spinnaker sheets. So a few things before you do fully attach the spinnaker sheet is just to make sure that your block is inside the shrouds and also make sure all of your, your sheets are clear in front of the mast and not inside anything. So with the sheets you just want to, so like I said before, make sure that this is inside the shrouds and then I just tie all my sheets here well, one with a bowling. With your second sheet, you want to make sure that it comes 
inside the shroud or inside the halyard so that that allows it to go through without getting caught on anything. And just to make sure that that's fine on both sides, you just want to pull it through. And then here, you can see that it comes under, which is how you'd want it on one of the sides. Top tip for dropping the kite, if you're new to the fever, because it can be quite stiff and hard to get into the spinnaker shoe, is just to curl it down first. And then as you can see, that just takes off the tension and allows it to go straight into the chute. So now we go into the jib and there's a few things I want you to make sure you know or remember is that you want to have either spinnaker sheet either side of the jib just so you don't get caught when you're on the water with the spinnaker sheets being one side over if that makes sense and then yeah there's also two ways which you can tie the jib on and today I'll show you the way that I personally use a lot of the time so what I do is I feed the rope through there I go down and under and then I go over the top. So this then keeps the jib down and low to the bottom because in these boats, these boats sell the best when the jib is as low to the deck as possible. So once I've done that and it's roughly or mostly into the center as I can, I pull on it tight and then I would go over and just that round over this rope and just put it through like that. I would then do another one of those just over the other side, as so. Don't worry about this not being straight because when you hoist up the jib, it will straighten itself. So now I would then just pull up, just put some lockers onto here just to keep that stable and not moving. So I literally just go over, well with one full twist round. And then I'll twist this round a little bit just so the anchor doesn't move too much. Okay, so now I would now go on to hoisting up the jib. And so you want to once again make sure that the jib is all clear away from anything at the top, like the shroud, to make sure it's all open and clear. You now want to make sure that the, the halyard isn't twisted at all, and you just want to grab your jib and just tie a simple bowline. So once you've tied the bowline at the top of the jib, you just want to pull it up a bit, and just clip it around this cleat here. And then I suggest that you get a bow, put a bowl in there with a thimble, and that just allows you to get, it, it's just a bit more slippery and a bit easier to pull more tension on instead of having it rope on rope. And then this also allows you to get better purchase. So now as you pull it down, and you would first of all cleat it, and then you would then fill your rig so you'll see how it feels on the front and see what it's like on the base of the mast and for light winds you want it just a touch off the middle when it's when it's able to move so that's pretty much perfect and in the neutral wind setting so that's about it other than all you have to do now is hoist up the main and then you're ready to go so from all of us here at Allen, thank you for watching and go and have some fun in the fever.